Brendan, one more follow-up question on video. Um, once at an event, you were speaking and you talked about showing your real self, showing your vulnerability, showing who you really are, not worrying about being too polished. Can you elaborate on your thoughts there? Yeah, uh, well, I think first thing that comes to my mind is that video isn't vulnerable. It's just you doing your thing normally and it's being caught, that's all. I think most people are uncomfortable with that because they aren't always in integrity with themselves throughout the day. So now they're in front of video, they have to be something and I'm like, no, just be who you are throughout the day. I think that's really important. I think vulnerability comes from the realization that the people on the other side, they want that. So you have to give them that. Mm -hmm. Meaning video isn't just about ego, it's about service. And when you know what people need and want, you'll deliver it. It's like, I, oh, people want me to share my stuff? That's weird. Why would they even care? <laughs> like, I was thinking, <laughs> why would they even care? But people keep asking. Mm -hmm. And they, well, they want your opinion. So serve with your full opinion, your opinion, your voice, your uniqueness. What they're, not, they're not typing in the comments, could you please tell me the things that that person told you? They're saying, what do you think about this? And so it's your job to be vulnerable enough to answer that. Otherwise, what you're being is a phony or a fraud, which is what most people fear. They're like, oh, I, 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 when I go on camera, I feel like a phony or a fraud. It's because you're trying to be something versus communicate a message. I tell people all the time, don't worry about the messenger, worry about the message. What do you want to, what do you want to impart? And just say it like a friend to barbecue. I also say, one reason it's hard for a lot of people to maintain vulnerability on camera is a very technical trick. Here's what it is. They think when they look at the camera, they have to look at it the entire time. That's not vulnerable nor human and real. Like when you and I are talking, there's lots of times as we're talking, you're looking to the ground, I'm looking to the ground, that's called accessing. Like human beings can't stare at one thing, especially each other, and talk and feel vulnerable because it feels mechanical and weird because you would never do that. The people who do that at, you know, on the first date, they don't get invited back the second date. <laughs> you know? But it's a technical switch you gotta know in your head, otherwise you're in trouble. So what I tell people, if you wanna be vulnerable and real on the camera, do it like in real life. If you watch any of my videos, I'm talking to camera for a while, and then I, I kind of look at the ground, or I look over here, and I come up, come up, and I back at the camera. If you feel like you have to look at it every second it's filming, you will start to feel completely weird, bizarre. Your brain will go, this is not right, and it'll trip up your words. But if it's like at a barbecue, like when I, you and I are even when I'm talking, right, to right. do a great interview, talk about, uh, I learned this, my first major interview was ABC World News. At the time, I had three and a half million uh, people watching live in the morning. And I, oh my gosh, I remember they sat me down and I was so young, I was early 20s. And uh, they sat me down again, across from the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen in my entire life. First, they took me in, they put makeup on me, which I'd never had makeup. I hope you were gonna say that's Denise. <laughs> no, I, I had not met Denise yet. We have, we have the cameras going right now. That I had not met my wife yet. Okay, good. And I had this, this cake on, right, right. That, this weird you know, thick stuff on my face. And I went and sat down, and I didn't know who was going to interview me, and she walked in, I was like, ooh. <laughs> and she sat down, and she got a note card. She never looked up at me. No, five, four, three, two, and I'm just sweating. I'm so nervous. And she looks up, she leaned in, she looked at me, and she asked me a question, and I, I froze, because I just looked her in the eyes. And I think I got lost in paradise somewhere. I think we were in Caribbean or something. I don't know what happened. But I just stared at her for a moment. <laughs> and... Uh, then as we went through the interview, it felt more and more awkward because I just kept looking right at her. And later on, she told me, she says, you don't have to look at me the whole time. <laughs> and I think she was being kind. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling the same thing to people who are trying video. Make sure you look away. Allow yourself to access. You don't have to connect every single second. 